everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to show you how to view customer information in the Magento 2 backend. So uh, what I basically did is I went to customers, I logged in, I went to customers and I created a sample uh, user for myself in this example website. So let's say, let's edit it right here. Okay, so you can view, of course, all the lists of your customers and now I want to view a specific one. So here you can view some information here in the tabs about the user. When did they register? Have they? When was the last time they logged in? What group are they in? And then all of the, the regular information. So their account information, what group, what's their name, email, um, addresses that they've set up. You can manage their addre addresses and add new ones or change their default ones for them. For example, if a customer uh, calls you and customer service wants to help them. Okay. You can view their orders that they've made. You can reorder for them, which we'll get into uh, placing a new order for a customer. You can view their billing agreements. Have they joined the newsletter? What products have they reviewed and what products are in their wish list? Okay, great. Um, so once this is kind of the default information, uh, you know, you go in the back and you'll be able to see it's pretty easy. Um, some other things that are very helpful for customer service especially, is you can reset a password of a customer. Um, and I think one of the other things that are very, very important, so Reset actually sent uh, the, an email to the customer right now. And one of the things that are very important also is the create order or reorder functionality. Okay, so once I cl click on create a new order for this specific customer, I'll actually select it. And now I can actually, put products in their cart, man manage their checkout, their billing and shipping address, and they, you know, basically do everything from uh, the back end for the customer itself. So let's actually do something. Let's try it out. So let's add a product to their cart. And let's just say this one, okay? And now I'm just going to add it. Okay, so I clicked on it, and then I clicked on Add. Now it's right here, okay? Um, so you can... Um, either remove it or you can change the quantity or work with from there. Now if the customer has maybe products in their shopping cart already or their wish list, you can actually move them from, for example, the wish list automatically into the cart. Okay? You can apply a coupon for them and you can update their, their information, of course, billing information, shipping information. Okay? Once you do that, you will actually select the shipping methods, the payment, etc. And then you'll write any kind of order comments, and then you'll submit the order. Now, in this case, we're just using check or money order. So what that means is if I create a new order for Ori, then um, you'll actually have to collect money from them in a different method. So you'll actually maybe send them a link to PayPal or uh, whatever method you're using for your company. Okay. So this is a nice feature that's very helpful. You can kind of help the customer and do things for them, especially customers that are less kind of web savvy and they just want to order something. Okay. So now that I clicked on submit order, now I have a new order. Uh, this is the order number. And now I'm basically editing this order. Okay, um, and so that's kind of a helpful thing uh, for now you can start processing the order, charging the money, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I hope that that makes sense um, for managing customers. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.